Hi, this is Tim Erden, author of Statistics in Plain English, and in this lesson we are going to talk about how to read um, the appendix for the F distribution, and um, this is the appendix that you would use to find critical values for F when you're doing an ANOVA. Um, so here's how it works. These numbers are um, the column headers, and they represent the degrees of freedom for the numerator of the F ratio. So uh, this is the degrees of freedom between groups, which is the number of groups um, that you have minus one. So suppose you're comparing three different groups, uh, your degrees of freedom for the numerator or between groups would be two. So this would be the column that you would use for that example. And then over here, down this first column, what we have is the degrees of freedom for the denominator of the F ratio, which is the degrees of freedom error. And the degrees of freedom error, if you'll recall, is the number of cases added across all of the groups minus the number of groups. So let's suppose that we have three groups with 10 cases in each group, then our degrees of freedom error would be 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is 30, minus the number of groups. In this case, we have three groups. 30 minus 3 is 27. So we'd be looking at the degrees of freedom error of 27, which is right here. Whoops, <clears throat> didn't mean to highlight all those, but right there. And because we have two degrees of freedom between groups, that's right here, and 27 degrees of freedom within groups, or error, 27 degrees of freedom error, these, the intersection of those two degrees of freedom, that row with that column, gives us those two F values. And these are our critical F values. So the regular font right there, is um, for an alpha level of 0.05. That's the critical F value for an alpha level of 0.05. And the bold-faced font is the critical F value for an alpha level of 0.01. So we'd use these critical values to determine whether our observed or calculated F values are statistically significant. So if we have an um, alpha level of 0.05, then if we calculate an observed F value that's larger than 3.35, it would be considered statistically significant. If we're using an alpha level of 0.01, where we have two degrees of freedom between groups and 27 degrees of freedom error, and we calculated an F value that is larger than 5.49, then that would be statistically significant at an alpha level of 0.01. And then if you calculate an F value that say is 4.00, what you could say is that that F value is statistically significant at an alpha level that's between 0.01 and 0.05. So uh, that's how you read this appendix and how you determine whether your F value from your ANOVA is statistically significant or not. I hope that's helpful.